Hey, is it, is it doing it now? George, yeah. thanks for your time today. How are you? I'm good. Not, I'm really good. I'm, yeah, I'm very happy and excited. Awesome. Okay, all right. So, you know, just for our viewers, I'll tell them why I contacted George. We found George online, interesting content on YouTube and on his blog. I just thought, you know, the kinds of persons that would like to have a Numble and using Numble over the long term are people like George who, frankly, um, may just never be found on platforms like YouTube that is just really, really crowded, or rather that are crowded. And I just thought I'd show George around on Numble and see how it works and get his feedback and his opinion on how we can improve and make the site the next big YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... So, um, George, why don't you tell... You know, people... I was going to say, yeah, yeah. I think, I think you just... Agreeing with what you're saying, yeah, this is a new, as a new format because it is different. It, it definitely has power to, to grow. Um, so yeah, and I I, I love I, I love what I've seen of it. Yeah, I, I want to reiterate for people who maybe are still unsure about what it is if they've just come to the site. Yeah, just it really seems like it it's different enough to take off and not for people to look at it and just think it's trying to copy everyone else. So, so, George, why do you blog? Why do you do video blogging? And how much of your time does it consume every week? I, I video blog mainly for uh, to, to bring entertainment to viewers, to, to make them happy, make them entertained, and even make them think about things a bit. I tend to like bringing up some, you know, some of my personal opinions. Uh, it's something that really, it depends how committed I am to getting content out there, uh, to how long I'm actually going to spend on it. Uh, probably the time per week is relatively small. Uh, when I do make a video, I tend to like to film it, edit it, and get it out there quickly. So it'll be maybe a few hours uh, I spend uh, weekly if I was to make videos weekly. But I found that with YouTube, uh, because of the lack of ability for viewers to really find your material, uh, I'm less motivated to make material even though I really want to because, of course, there's not enough people watching. The material that's put out there because of the nature of what YouTube is. Oh, that's right. By the way, do you see? Um, I don't know who that is, but someone, Noah, Noah Burke. Can you see that on your screen? Yes, I can. Yes, right I can. Um, there you go. He's been to um, Wellington. So. Um, what do you think about a platform that allows you to to not only communicate one way, but in real time bring a fan or an audience member on board, like you are with me, left and right, and actually to get questions in real time, like you know, um, we have Joel Hubbard as well. What do you think about such a platform? Does it does it appeal to you, and why? Uh, it, does, it is appealing. I think. The primary reason why it's so appealing is it breaks down the barrier that I've always felt in like creative sharing on the internet, which is the whole us and them idea. And uh, even though I am someone who makes the content, I still very feel very much that I am outside the the popular people who have their own sort of community going on. Um, and I'm striving to sort of enter that popular zone, but I never quite get there. But what this does is allow both the people who are on the outside of um, these people who make content to converse with them directly in a way that is a bit more uh, direct than sending emails or tweeting at them, which, as we all know, we never really get replies to those. Uh, and it gives people who are like me, who makes content and wants to be um, really, really, I, yeah, it's a bit, it's, it sounds a bit um, arrogant, but I do want to be really, really popular. I want people to view what I make uh, because I'm very proud of what I make and I think that I never want to enter that realm though where I feel I'm too good for the people just watching. So what Nimble's going to do is it gives the opportunity for me as someone who wants to strive to make good content to talk to people and never sit, lose that um, group dynamic uh, you can get because uh, I find that when making videos as I do now with minimal views uh, when I talk to people through YouTube, I'm, because I'm not getting a heap of people talking to me, I'm able to make some really good friendships and meet some really cool people who are like me, who aren't huge, but at, are worthy of being so because they make good content. So I never want to lose that. I never want to lose the ability to make friends through um, social interaction and meeting other people who I can 
work with and have fun with because yeah it just seems it, it, yeah it, I, I don't like that idea I think um yeah nim nimble is breaks down that wall of exclusive um, interaction which I don't like by the way um, yeah by the way I'll, thank you I'm laughing because I'm looking at the streams of questions and comments coming in um, <laughs> to the right where we have folks, um, by the way, someone asked about your dream, what your dream is, and just so you know, we have about one and a half minutes left. But um, so, so how do you see Nimble fitting into what you do and and what you intend to do on web? Uh, I think it's going to be both a way of, um, I mean, a really way of making different kinds of content because there is something to be said for making a video that's edited and been crafted. But I think when something's live, you get a lot more of the person across. You're not you're not a cut down version of yourself that you're willing to put out there. It's a bit more exposed. So I think the type of um, interaction you get is going to be different. I think as someone who in life wants to get into um, filmmaking, and I, because I'm studying that at university, um, and someone who really wants to enter that field proper professionally and not just online as a hobby and obviously you can get into it professionally online but I mean entering the the, the real world industry and I'm I'm trying to be um, specific there but uh, yeah I think it's um I, I like it it's sort of I, it seems weird to say that it will be a means to get other content viewed but I'd like to think if people like me on nimble they will go and look at my other stuff that I have edited and created and made um, Good, and I'm running out of time, so I can't say much more. But that was fine. That was really fine. Plus, we can yeah. always do this some other time. Not a problem. Uh, but thank you so much, George.